Good afternoon, everyone. I have to say I'm glad to meet other people who can understand me and support me. I have recently found out that I also have it and I wasn't sure how to tell my family and friends. I totally understand that it is not easy to tell people who are close to you something that might have other people treat you differently. I too was hesitant to tell my family and friends for a long time, but one day I got the courage to tell them and they were all welcoming of me and they say they still love me and that they will support me. I see we have another friend today. What's your name, dear? Hi, my name is Kibena. We are so glad you can join us today, Kibena. And what's your story? Um, um... It's okay. This is a safe place, so you can always share whenever you're ready. I'll go. When I first told people, they called me names. They said mean things about me that weren't true. I was bored with it. That's all. But it took courage to continue showing them that it is not true and that I am still the same. Wow! I didn't know there were so many people that shared my feelings and experiences. They seem to be friendly and welcoming. Maybe I can share with them. I revealed my status a long time ago and since then I have had to do a lot of work to educate people about it. Sometimes people make me eat with a separate plate and spoon, which is mean because it doesn't even spread that way. But I know that a lot of what they do is because they're misinformed about how it can be transmitted. So I try to tell them the different ways it cannot be transmitted. That is what worries me. Hi again. I'm Kibena and I was born with HIV. I've had it all my life and I lead a very normal life with it. I have been wanting to tell my friends my status too, but I'm scared. I don't know if they will treat me differently after I tell them. I am healthy and I am not a danger to them, but I do have HIV. Do I owe it to them to tell them? Kibena, you owe it to yourself to live the life you deserve. If you feel like keeping your secret is weighing you down, then it is time to fly. If you're okay holding on to it, then there is no rush. You can tell them when you are ready. Kibena, my dearest, you can choose who to tell and when to tell them. I know you hate to keep secrets, especially from your friends, but this is perhaps a good secret to keep because it doesn't hurt anyone. It's just you keeping some details to yourself for your privacy, and that is okay. I know it will take a lot of courage from you to tell them, but tell them when you are ready, okay? No pressure. Thank you, Bibi. I don't know why I froze back there, but I'm glad you said that. I mean, the good side is that my friends might love me and accept me, and I wouldn't have to keep the secret anymore. But the bad side is they might be afraid of me, even if I teach them the real truths. But there are so many beliefs and lies that would make them afraid. I'm for school, Kibena. Bibi, I need help. What should I do? I have been thinking about what my new friends in the support group said about telling others about their status. I mean, I don't want to keep secrets. I want to be my whole full self with my best friends. But I'm afraid to tell them. I understand, Kibena. It is scary because people tend to believe the worst about it. But you have great friends. They might be shocked, but that's only because they don't know as much about it as you. Whatever happens, remember that you are still your wonderful self, regardless of what others think about you. You're right. I just need the courage to do it. Remember, Kibena, you have the courage to share this part of your life with your friends. You might feel nervous and unsure of what they will say, but if this is your decision, you will find the courage within you and tell them with confidence. Thank you. <coughs> Hi everyone, I have something I want to share with you. Excuse me everyone, I have something to share with you. This is not easy for me, but I want to share something important about me with you. I have been keeping a secret from you all for a long time, and I don't want to keep it anymore because I have realized that you knowing does not change who I am. I was only worried about how you would react and treat me after you knew. We are your friends, Kibena. You can tell us anything. Yes, yes that's, that's true. true. Thank you. Well, I, Kibena, am living with HIV.
Are you okay, Kibena? Actually, I am. Could you have ever infected us? No, you guys have always been safe spending all this time around me. You know why? Because the way we have been spending time with each other are not ways that can spread the disease. So things like sharing water and food and holding hands? Yes, it cannot be transmitted by doing that. Uh, what about high-fiving or playing football together? Those aren't modes of transmission either. Neither are preparing food together, sharing books or pencils at school, sitting together, hugging, and many more. So, it is not a communicable disease then? It is communicable, but you have to share certain body fluids with someone who is infected to get it, such as blood and breast milk. But not all body fluids transmit it. There are other body fluids that do not transmit it even when shared, such as saliva, sweat, and tears. Ah, I see. Okay. When did you get it? When did you change? I've always had it. I was born with it. So this is who I've been ever since you met me. I've never changed. I'm still the Kibena you've always known. And nothing changes now that you guys know that I have HIV. <sighs> so that's the only secret? Yes, that's it. Why? Well, you go into the city a lot and you never tell us why. Oh, I go to the city for checkups and support groups. I actually get to hang out with a bunch of other kids who are also living with HIV, who remind me that I am not alone. There are so many people living long, happy lives with HIV, but because people fear the disease, we need to lean on each other. We face stigma. What is stigma? Stigma is a negative idea that surrounds a certain thing, group of people, or set of choices. That is why I was afraid to tell you guys. HIV has many negative ideas surrounding it, and mostly because people don't know how it can and cannot be transmitted. Well, now that we know, we'll be the pros to protect you and fight against stigma. You know. <laughs> Sit down, Baraka. But yes, we will protect you, Kibana, and nothing changes. You are still the same Kibana we know and love. I'm glad you shared this with us, and I'm glad I understand more about you now. Now there's no more secrets. Never miss out on new Obalu Kids videos ever again. Subscribe today and become the first to know every time new fun educational content is available. Simply type Obalu Kids English on the search bar. Click on the Obalu Kids English channel page. Click subscribe on the right hand corner of your screen. What are you waiting for? You are three easy steps away from joining the Obalu Kids family.